Let's go. We are back. Anthony Richardson, one of the most exciting QBs in the NFL. And we have done a lot of A Rich videos. I appreciate all the Colts fans showing me love. So, this preseason performance was not the absolute best. Okay, so we start things off here with a well timed blitz from the second level here from this backer. Anthony Richardson does end up seeing it. He does have the right thought process here to throw in the direction of the blitz, but it was just too perfectly timed. So the tackle elects uh, to leave him unblocked. He might not have even seen him because it was so well timed. And now Anthony Richardson is hot, right? So he's got to get rid of this football quickly. He's not able to step into it, which is smart. We don't want him taking a really big hit here. And he actually does see this right. It's just an inaccurate throw, right? And, yeah, so it's incomplete, and it sets up this second down. So, you know, we are in a weird spot here with A. Rich. He's got a really good play caller in Shane Steichen, but he's just not played a whole lot of snaps. Um, and, you know, whether that be the tumultuous Florida tenure from Mullen to now being hurt in his rookie season, there's still going to be rust. And in many ways, this also is a rookie season for him, okay? You get a lot of edge pressure here, so we do want him stepping up into this. Um, there is room for him to run and make something happen here. He could hit Jonathan Taylor, who, by the way, is wearing the Guardian cap. I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you want to know more about these things, I've done two videos. Uh, they are both floating in the top right corner of your screen. So Broncos do a really good job covering everything here. Okay, um, what it looks like here from Indianapolis is they're running a lot of man-beater concepts. And this looks... Uh, like they're playing some variation of zone. So, you know, in uh, zone principles, it's easier to guard shallow drags when you're running zones. And both Pittman is covered and JT is covered. So this looks open right here, but it's not. You can see the backer right here getting ready to ear hole him. So this is a good decision right here by Anthony to not throw either of these. He does end up throwing an inaccurate ball right here to Grayson, the tight end. But I think what Anthony wanted him to do uh, was to keep running. But in this situation, um, once again, I don't have the end zone angle. That's really the only way we can know uh, this to be certain. We don't know all the tight end's movements here. Um, in this situation, Grayson should be sitting right here, okay? Like, we want to just stay in this window uh, right here, just sit. And Anthony Richardson throws as if he's still running this way, and it should have been picked, hit the guy right in the chest. So, once again, not a whole lot of snaps playing with each other, right? They practice a bunch. They played with each other last year. You also would like to see him potentially run, right? You would prefer... Uh, you know, versus zone. Well, you would prefer. So then also in this third and eight, this could have been an opportunity for Anthony Richardson to take off and run. Now, in the long term, you want him sitting in the pocket and actually going through everything. But the protection here is really good for him to run through. You slip through here. He's probably picking up this first down with room to spare if he's able to squeeze through one of those pass rush lanes. So... I understand it's just preseason, but not the best right there from Anthony at all. All right, so we get to Anthony Richardson's first completion post-injury. And Denver says, look, these blitzes have been working. It's protected really well, okay? He finds Mo Cox and hits him on his upfield shoulder away from the backer. That's really good stuff. That's actually a safety as well. Mo Cox experienced guy. I think he's in year eight, okay? And he's able to run after the catch and pick up a nice explosive gain on first. All right, so after the first down, play action. This is just a lot of pressure in his lap, a lot. This is a really good job right here by the center to come over and, and help with the right guard here. 
that, ah, this this really is good from the center. So he helps out Quentin Nelson. He's like, okay, Quentin Nelson's a beast. Don't really need to help him. Let me get over here and help with this bull rush that is just destroying our pocket. And this could be a problem for the Colts. Nelson making his block and everyone else just struggling. There's not, There's nothing you can do in a pocket like this. This is excellent stuff from the Denver Broncos. Okay, so Anthony Richardson's got to roll out to the left. And honestly, this is throwaway territory uh, or run and see what you can get. And he runs and sees what he can get and turns a negative play into a positive. It's really, really good quarterbacking. (laughs) Ah, 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 look at this alignment, baby. Love it. I think Denver's defense has a chance to be really good this year, okay? Once again, no Pat Sertan out there either. Uh, First thing is this does look like it's a bit of a false start uh, from the right tackle. Let's see here. Uh, and the next thing is there's no Josh Downs. I mean, Josh Downs was really solid last year with with a rich. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's his false start? Yeah, it does look like it was a little bit of a flinch. Not much, though. They're not, they're not going to call that. Okay. So, remember a minute ago we are talking about man versus zone? Okay. This is a clear man situation. All right. Um it doesn't look like it, but when the motion comes over here, that that, that lets you know that this is probably going to be man coverage, okay? So the next thing is it's third and seven. Their safeties are way back here, okay? You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's two deep safeties here, okay? So if you read man coverage and there are two deep safeties, the route you want to work is the shallow drag right here across the way. Let these verticals clear and just hit this in stride. And Anthony Richardson is painfully, and I mean painfully late on this, okay? Um, there was probably a piece of this player thinking that the backer was going to stick with Grayson, okay? But the backer, of course, has responsibilities to the running back. So this is just a typical Two man under coverage. All right. This is not hard. Ball needs to be delivered right here. Nothing deep is going to be open versus this too high safety. You hit this in stride now, now, now. This is as easy of a first down as you're going to get. Protection is really, really, really good. And he's just really late on it. All right. And that allows his backer uh, to catch up to it. The ball is still thrown behind uh, Grayson right here. And instead of getting a first down here, you have to punt. And something else about being as painfully late as he was on this throw is if you throw it just even a half second sooner and he still tackles him short of the line to gain, guess what? Shane Steichen is from the Philadelphia Eagles tree. Uh, You just get up and tush push it. And pick up an easy first down. But because it was so late, instead of it being fourth and inches, it's fourth and two. So this was just not great all around. A rough, rough, rough go at it uh, from Anthony Richardson in his first start. Once again, it is just the preseason here. But there is a long way to go. And I might be, you know, one of those guys. It's it's victim to a little bit of a of an overhype here uh, of, of a rich. And if you're a Colts fan, this perfectly encapsulates what – Teams are going to do versus Anthony Richardson, okay? And this is coming from uh, someone who watched a lot of Jaden Daniels uh, in LSU, uh, at LSU. And when Jaden wasn't as polished of a passer early in his career, and by the way, if you want to see my Jaden preseason breakdown, it's floating in the top right corner of your screen. What teams would do would be like, look, we're going to play too high. We know you're a great deep passer, Anthony Richardson, elite deep passer. But what we're going to do, We are going to pass rush conservatively, not giving you any huge rush lanes, and we're going to force you to beat us in the intermediate. And every single defensive game plan is going to do this, and until you start completing these gimmies, this is exactly what happens here. Notice there's not much of a pass rush, but the Broncos don't mind that, right? They prefer him throwing instead of running, especially in man coverage uh, like this. So if you're a Colts fan, this is going to be the game plan defensively all year. If you can't hit the high school drags like this, um, they're they're just going to keep doing it, right? Force you to beat them in the intermediate. So 
Let me know if you guys uh, are worried about Anthony. And comment below if you think he'll be, or if the Colts are going to make the playoffs this year. It is. <laughs> Pow. Out. NFL. Boom. And tonight, we are doing lemon pepper chicken wings. Let's go.